seems like part of what you're talking about is honesty. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a good name for it. <laughs> I mean, emotional honesty, intellectual honesty. Yeah, absolutely, Lisa, that's exactly right. Because yeah. honesty doesn't necessarily mean saying everything you think every moment. No, that's not the point. no. But knowing what you think <laughs> and letting yourself see what you see. And discovering, you know, what you really think and at least knowing that. And as I said, then you can make choices around when you want to talk and... But see what's so interesting, and this is where I think doing work with children is so key, is that, and you know, it's in our myths, and like the emperor's new clothes, children have a sense of emotional honesty, which is why some people are scared of babies, because they can read emotions honestly, and if you can smile at a baby, but if the baby feels you're not really in connection, the baby will start screaming, you know? Or children will shy away from people where they read, the, the person may be presenting as if they're, you know, very friendly and everything else, but the child picks up, there's anger or whatever. So as humans, we have a capacity for that kind of emotional honesty and emotional reading of the human world.